Hey guys, we're back with another episode of Taco Imposters for Saturday, April 13th, 2024. I was watching a video just now, a clip from the WAN show, and Linus and Luke were talking about how... Well, they're talking about how listicle articles are basically just, like, stupid and, like, terrible. Don't listen to any of them anymore. It's, like, one of the things where it's like, yeah, don't listen to them at all. Like, at all. <laughs> and so for me, at least, I'm like, okay, great. Okay, sure. I never knew if listicle articles were good or bad. I just now know that they're terrible. And a listicle article is... is is a like a blog post or an article on a website that's a full-on list like oh here's the pros and cons of this thing and that one what's the best <laughs> camera to buy in 2024 what's the best film camera to buy in 24 what's the best you know fuji instax right to buy in 2024 fuji film camera to buy in 24 what's the best inst instant camera what's the best video uh audio recorder they're all crap and because nobody they don't actually use any of those products they just they don't they just um what's it called they just use, just, and I mean just, just use, uh, use whatever the affiliate link pays the most for that, in that category. <laughs> winter wipers. Here are six different winter wipers. They're all paying me the most. <laughs> Here's the pros and cons and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, probably AI generated and probably just crap, just to make money, you know? Anyway, so that's really big, and there's an article that you should read. Anyway, the point I'm not making here is not that. The point I'm making here is they were saying how, why they're making labs, and why labs has to exist and why a labs channel has to exist because or Linus thing how why he's making one and and the lab channel has to exist because no one's going to like read articles and then Luke goes yeah because some people just don't leave YouTube and then he goes surfing the web is not a thing anymore it's not really a thing anymore and I go exactly I've been saying this for a while now when was the last time you went on the internet to a website other than social media, Google, and your emails. <laughs> tell me, right now, like, when was the last time? Like, never! Tell me, just tell me, right? Give me, write me up a little thing, tell me, you know? Like, and tell me what website you went on. And, you know, seriously, like, when was the last time you did that? No, like, I cannot tell you the last time I went on a website. Like, legitimately, it wasn't like, I wasn't just doing it for, like, whatever. Or I wasn't redirected to somebody's website for their, for their, for their, for their uh, business, or someone's, like, Oh, I want to buy something. Oh, I have to go through here. Okay, great. No, I was literally... I, like, actively was like, I'm going to go here to go get this to do this. <laughs> Never. Like, I can't tell you. And I'm sure nine... Nine out of ten people probably were like, yeah, no, I don't know. I don't remember. I cannot remember the last time it wasn't. <laughs> Facebook, Twitter, Instagram... Uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube... You know, any of those websites. Google and my, my emails. Like, I don't remember the last time I did that. Like, which is fair. Like, a, a thread, which is fair, you know? Like, that's a thing. The internet. Surfing the internet doesn't exist anymore. I'm, t I'm telling you right now. Surfing the internet is not a thing. It's not a thing anybody does. <laughs> when was the last time you went on a website that wasn't social media? The Gen Z people probably like, oh, I don't know. Google and my emails. Like, well, yeah. But those don't count because they're so ingrained into your cult, like, cult, like, ingrained into this is how you find something, information. Okay, Wikipedia may count, sure, maybe. Because you're getting information, right? Wikipedia could count. And then other websites could count, right? Little places like Wikipedia. But, like, there's very few websites that people actually go on to go, like, or actively go on, right? That they've chosen themselves. Like, they, 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 they like, oh, I went on this website out of my own volition to find out this thing or to go do this thing or to go do this thing, right? Buy something or play something or read something or whatever. He's already talking about how articles, no one's going to read articles. And I went, yeah, no. Don't. Don't say there's a written article on a video, or vice versa, or a video on a written article. No one's gonna gonna read it. Cause that's the thing. The Gen Z and the Millennials have just like lost the whole like I don't care. It okay. Don't care. I want to read my read my or watch my thing. I'm not reading anything, right? Which is fair. Right? Which is fair. I don't blame those people. I don't blame those those people. I don't. I hate cuz it's not even like a uh just a second. It's not even a too long didn't read. It's I will never read. So yeah. Cuz like it's the same thing, okay? As what my mother says to my father, my mom says to my dad all the time. She says this one thing, which is which is 
And she keeps on reiterating this to my dad. Dad doesn't understand it. People don't go to seven different grocery stores. And he goes, they should. And he, she goes, doesn't matter if they should. And they're going to save so much money. They don't care. Some people are stupid. So they're not going to spend you know, a million dollars at one place. But you could go and have the most obscurely, like, nothing to do with groceries ever. And if you had groceries at it, you'd still go, like, like Staples or Bureau and Grow. Yeah, groceries out there. Some people would never not go to Bureau and Grow. Now, how often do you go to Bureau and Grow? I'm just saying, like, that's just an example of, like, a kind of place where it's, like, put everything in one spot. Walmart has it all now. You don't have to go anywhere else. Costco has it all. Uh, what else? Although Costco need to mem- be a member, so that's, like, a little bit less... But, I mean, people would do that. Like, what's it called? I don't know. Target or, uh, I don't know. Just pick a place, right? It has it all. Like, this grocery store has everything I'll ever need. I don't care if I'm spending 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 12, 14, 15, a million, a billion, a trillion times more. Right? Percent more. I don't care. Like, it doesn't matter. Right? It does not matter. It does not matter to me because, because, it's all in one place. They think also, probably, some people probably think saving gas is better than saving money on the food. So it's like, well, yeah, maybe. But, like, also, you can save so much more money if you just go to, like, two different stores, three different stores, you know? Like, they don't care. They don't waste their time looking at everything. They get whatever circular they get, and they look at their little stuff, and they go, okay, fine. Is my thing available here? I'll get it here. I don't care. Which is weird. Nowadays, it's a little bit different, because, like, nowadays, it's like, okay, well, we're going to look for what's good. Because, you know, you can't afford it. But you're not going to go and look for ten different places. It's It's the same thing on YouTube. No one's going to go and waste their time going to 17 different set websites to find out all the information they need. They'll go, oh, YouTube has a YouTube video on it? Good, I'll, I'll do that. Now, okay, maybe those things like uh, like um, Skillshare and Udemy, stuff like that too, maybe that's a thing. Right? But like, when was the last time you went on a website that wasn't social media? Or Google or your email? Like, seriously. Like, a lot of people, okay, maybe you've used like ChatGPT or Dolly or something, but like, they don't really count because they're not really like, Websites, they're like services, if that makes any sense. It'd be like saying, oh, I used Bing AI. It's like, well, no, that's not a website. That's a service on Bing. That's like a thing you can do. That's a thing you can do on Bing. That's something Bing just offers, Copilot, right? And so for me, at least, I'm like, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know when I did that last. Because I, like, to actively go out and be like, well, I want, I'm going to go onto this website to get, to, to do this thing. It's like, no, I don't know when that, I mean, Netflix, maybe, you know, to be stuff like that, but like uh, Discord maybe, but like Discord's a social media platform, so like no, like and and like these um streaming platforms I don't count because they're not really you know interacting with anything. I mean sure, um to uh Netflix, to be Disney Plus, they're technically websites that let you do that, but I don't count them the same way because I'm not interacting with the website. I'm just kind of like watching their co- I don't know <laughs> Rumble I've used. I don't know. I'm just saying like it's true. Like when was the last time you used it? Because I'm sure some people, I'm not even joking, I'm sure some people, some Gen Z people, or the next generation of people will not even know other websites than, like, social media apps that they have on their phones, or their whatevers they're using at that point, you know, whether it's, you know, Apple Vision Pro type of devices, you know, uh, VR, AR, VR slash AR slash mixed reality stuff, right? Where it's like, oh, what? What's a website? Like... Where do you, what? You don't just, like, pull up your app? Like, what? Or the things have an app, right? So it'll be all application-based, and they're all in their whatever things that are in their, you know, when, 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 when Google, Apple Vision looks like a pair of glasses and you can't tell that they're wearing it, or a pair of contacts and you can't tell they're using it, right? Or it's chip in the brain, I don't know, uh, Neuralink chip in the brain, I don't know. I'm just saying, like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just saying, like, wow. There will, I'm sure there will be, Right? And it's, like, really, really, like, it'll be strange for, like, me when my grandchildren don't know what a website is, right? Or don't know anything other than, like, social media and Google and whatever. And, and by that time, their emails, not using emails here, mind. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, I say emails now because, like, that's one thing that some people only open their internet for. They open the internet for, like, Google to Google a fact. Their emails. And maybe their, their bank. And so the only websites they've ever used are, like, their emails, their banking, and then, like, Wikipedia. And then that's it. You know, you know the Reddit people, the, you know, the, like, information, like, that's the other thing. In my opinion, Reddit, okay, became that, like, de facto standard of, like, information, because we're, like, 
well, yeah, de facto standard information because other, like, nobody, nobody, tr- like, everything else is just AI generated <laughs> or just terrible information. Or Wikipedia where some people are like, uh, that's not the kind of information I need. I need, like, first-hand, like, answers to something. Like, someone who's actually used it in percent, you know, not just knowledge, not just information, you know. Knowledge. Ty Lopez. Knowledge. About my Lamborghini. I got books. I read a book a day. Knowledge. Anyway. He claims to read, like, a Bible-sized book today. I'm like, mm, I don't know about that, man. I know someone who reads about 400 books a year. I'm like, that's insane. That's actually that hard. That's actually not that hard. He reads, like, two a week, three a week. And you could get it, get to that point, yeah. Anyway, I'm just, like, you know. Or read, like, yeah. Three a month, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I'm just saying, like, how many, how many have you used? Like, when was the last time you used them? I don't know. I couldn't tell you because, like, I that I actively was like, okay, I'm going to go onto this website to do this thing. No, I've always been like redirected to these websites because that doesn't count. I've been redirected to somebody's like business website or someone's service website or someone's like shop or someone's like this. And places like Etsy don't count because again, your your sense of it and, and merch and merch shops like like places that sell merch or places that sell stuff like Vat19 or or like, you know, Linus, or sorry, LTTstore.com, or whoever, like, shop.gg slash whatever, who guy, or like Redbubble, they don't count because they're you're being redirected through a YouTube video to go to said website. Etsy, or whatever, right? So like, for inst- for me, for instance, like, if you got, if you went to my Etsy store, well, that doesn't count because you've been redirected to that. You didn't go out of your own religion to say, hey, I'm going to go to that website because... I want this thing because I know that this website does this. So yeah. Yeah, like it's kind of insane. When you think about it, when you think about it, like only like what fifteen to twenty years ago, where we like was that uh, that idea of like surfing the web, like you had like your search engine that would provide you information of a website, and that website would just be like, oh yeah, here's you want flowers, here I can send you flowers. You want a pizza, you can you know buy you know order a pizza. Uh, you want clothes? I can get you clothes, books, whatever, you know? Oh, you want to learn information about this? Yeah, I do this, or this or that, you know? Yeah, Wikipedia is stuff like that, you know? Now it's like, when, like, also, not even just when was the last time you went on a website that wasn't social media or Google or your emails. It's like, when did you last surf the web? When did you do the thing that you would do on, like, a TV where you're surfing TV channels, you know? With the websites. Because people used to do that. They used to just, like, look up random, like, put in random things in, like, Google or something, and then find random websites and, like, look them up. Or, like, what I used to do a lot was like, blah 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 blah, like fill in the blank, game, Mario game, Pokemon games, or online games, or like, I don't know, Yu-Gi-Oh games, or like, I don't know, Phineas and Ferb games, Lego games, like I remember Lego Lego dot com was like one of the greatest websites I used to go on all the time. There's one racer game, oh man, what's going on? Playmobil dot com and like, the things that I used to do, it was actually fantastic. In my opinion, it was an actual fantastic, uh, excuse me, um, website. Like, I loved those websites. Do kids play, I know it's not Flash anymore, but, like, the equivalent to Flash games anymore? Like, no. Like, not at all. No. Because video games are just so much better. And, like, PCs have gotten so much better at playing games to the point where kids don't even know what the hell, the heck a Flash game, like, Flash, you know, equivalent, whatever, you know, "Quote unquote, a flash game, whatever that means, like quote, you know, in quotes, like is, you know. I mean, it's not a flash anymore, but like, you know, Newground and Mini Clip and 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 Con Arcade and and Con dot com and like um cool math math games and Friv and any of those. They don't know what those websites are. I'm like what? Wow, you missed out a lot. No, but there are still some very iconic video games." Like, Flash, you know, quote-unquote Flash, you know, not Flash, games, on the internet, that people know of. But, like, no. Like, a lot of them, a lot of kids just don't even know what the heck that even means. Flash game, what? What are you talking about? What? You've never played? And then pick one that was originally a Flash game. Stuff like, uh, Meat Boy and stuff, you know, such. There's certain games where, like, wow, that was a Flash game originally? Like, yeah. So, I'm just saying, right, that the internet has changed very much. They've changed, like, the internet has changed so much within the last like 10 15 years that it's not the same thing we used to use although definitely wasn't the same thing when it first came like when it's first around 
in the form that we know it today. When it first was like that, it was a whole dot-com bubble, and like, oh, look at the big thing, everyone needs a dot-com, you know, we'll be great people, there'll be everything, you know, there'll be jobs for everybody who go into computer science, and then they'll be like, oh yeah, and everyone's going to use it, use it, and everyone's going to have a website, and then it's like, it just popped by like 2000, it was like, you know, it was like, and it pops, and nobody had one, and it just died. And pets.com and all those like websites. Just pick a website and it, there was a website for it. Dot com. Yeah. You know, doesn't matter. You know. Think of something from that era and there was a website for it. Steeringwheel.com. Sure there was. But yeah, so. That was the first like set of them. And then it came back again. Because that's the other thing too. How many people have a web here's okay. Here's what I here's really bizarre like weird thing. I I, I weird, okay? Something very strange, okay? So, I met this guy. So, I know a friend, and she's a videographer. That's what she does for a living. She's a freelance videographer. She makes commercials for people. She does ads, whatever. She does things. She does weddings also, too, but anyway. So, that, right? And then I know, I met a a a comic book artist who's an independent comic book artist who writes his own comic books. He makes like one or two or three a year or something like that. Anyway, he shoots, or uh, maybe more frequently. I don't know. Don't remember his name. Eric something or other. Anyway. But, what I'm, my point is, he came to the conclusion that websites are stupid to pay for, that it's dumb, and I don't want a website. Because he's like, well, I just got a Facebook page, it's free, and I don't have to pay for anything. And I went, and an Instagram page, like, smart, I like your style, I like your thinking. Don't want to have to pay for a website every month, right? Or a domain every month. Go back to my friend, she's like, she, she can't deal with, she doesn't, she hates social media, using it to promote herself. And, and, has a website. And I think to myself, well, why do you have a website when you could do it for free? And it's like, but it looks more professional. It just, and it does, don't get me wrong, it looks way more professional. Especially for her. If your web, like, if your business card had your website and you had a QR code and it could scan to your website and you can go to your website and have a form to, like, fill out and here you go, here's how you want, what what would you like, blah, 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 blah. Like, it, it does, and portfolios, and, 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 and what I do, and blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, I'm not saying it's good or bad. What I'm saying is, her... Well, there's two people are also doing two different things. Not 100% different, but sli- like different enough to be like, well, okay, look, you don't need a website, the artist. And she doesn't necessarily need social media, but like, she, like that's where everybody is, though. No one's going to... That's the other thing. That's the other thing. No one's going to stumble upon your website, but they're going to stumble upon your social media page. Oh, I was... You know, the way the algorithm works, where it's like, oh, I was following... You know, I follow, or I'm subscribed to, or I'm whatever, friends with this person. And then... Who's friends with this person? Who's friends with this person? Who's friends with this one? Who's friends with this? Friends here? Friends here? 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 And it's like seventy-five um, degrees separated. You find this person, or you looked up wedding once, or you looked up like videographer once, or you looked up like camera once, and then it throws you all these people. Hey, would you like a you know wedding? Hey, you looking for wedding photographers? Hey, you want this person? You know, because they're like either close to you or around, or, you know, whatever, I'm just saying, like, you know, I'm just saying, right, that, I'm just saying that, like, well, like, no one's gonna accidentally find your website, no one's gonna accidentally find your website, and I'm not saying it's bad, and, and you're wasting your time, and don't, you know, don't ever, god, I gotta go, um, don't, don't have a website, but I'm saying, like, you're not gonna accidentally find your website, find your website, they're not gonna accidentally find your website, they may accidentally find your your social media page, but ne- not gonna accidentally find your website. I'm surprised she doesn't just bleh, wow English. I'm surprised she doesn't have a YouTube channel, because that seems like a good idea. <laughs> Although I can't talk to her anymore, so that's a whole different story. But yeah, I couldn't suggest that to her. At least not at this present moment. You know, at this moment, as in like in this current. Thing. Anyway, so a whole different story. But long story, and I'm not gonna get into it. I'm good. I think I might have said some of it before. Anyway, so yeah. Like, I just kind of, like, ba- like both ways are fine for what you're doing. My, I'm just saying, like, you kind of need both. You kind of do. Because if you're going to sell a, a, a service or, like, a business, it's like having a location, right? Or working out of your basement. Social media is working out of your basement where it's free, right? You're not paying for a building, right? Kind of, kind of. Because, like, not everybody can find find it. But, like... And then, like having an actual physical location other than your house 
is like, okay, well, now you're actually, like, legit, and I can actually sh find you somewhere. Like, social media is like, oh, yeah, okay. Or more like, in a mall, rather than, like, I'm being a mall kiosk, rather than, or mall, like, cart, rather than an actual store in, like, a shopping center, you know? Like, oh, yeah, the mall kiosk is a hundred different kiosks, and nobody cares, and you can just sell whatever, right? And then a real store is like, oh, you actually have a real store that's actually physically, you physically exist, and I can actually go to it and see it, and you know, I could accidentally find it. Whereas, like, you're not going to accidentally find... I don't know, I'm just saying, like, you're not going to accidentally find a website. Because you have to, especially because you don't know what the name of the website is, and it's very, like, specifically her full name, or her name. And so because it's her name, you're not going to accidentally find it unless you know her. You may accidentally find it if you look up, like, videographers in the Quebec area, freelance, for, you know, and maybe Google would, like, throw it at you. I don't know who, how good her SEO is, her search engine optimization is. Maybe it's actually really good. It could be very good. I really don't know. I'm just saying, like, I, you can't, you're not going to accidentally find, you're not going to accidentally find her, her, uh, website. I don't, I don't think. Unless you, like, know her or somehow find it through something else, you know. But her Instagram page, oh, you're going to find it because Facebook got an algorithm that, or Meta's got an algorithm that takes, you know, oh, you know, you know, Jim, who knows Charles, who knows Bob, who knows Jackie, who knows Carol, who knows Linda, who knows Brian, who knows Jason, who knows Kelly, who knows Vanessa, who knows this person. Knows that person. Ah! And, like, because you, you know one person, they'll throw you this person that you never even heard of. And, or, you looked up, like, videographer. Or you looked up commercial videographer. Or you looked up wedding photographer. Or wedding videographer. And all these people came up and one was her. You know, I'm just saying, like, that's what I'm saying. Because you can do that. Like, it's, it's not hard. Whereas, like, Google, you're not just going to find her website randomly. Because that's the thing, you don't stumble upon websites. Unless you use websites like I'm the, the board button, or I'm bored, or, like, websites to cure boredom, whatever. I don't think, in my opinion, I don't think that, like, you're going to get to, like, randomly stumbling upon people's websites. Am I saying it's not possible? I don't know, I don't think, I mean, maybe your search, search engine optimization is pretty good. I don't know. She uses Wix, so I don't know how that, like, works. Do you pay for a better search engine opposition? I don't know how it works. I don't own a web... Well, that's a lie. I technically own a website. I actually technically own, like, three or something. And they're all with weird, like, services that are free. And I'm like, I don't like this. Go into my, uh... Link tree in my bio on, on Instagram. And look up... And look into, like, I have, like, three websites, and they all suck, and I can't get into, like, any of them. I, d I bought one on Wix. Okay, if you know how to, okay, if you know how to do this, please tell me because I'd love to know. Wix, okay, Wix, Wix, okay. Can I take a website that I make on Wix, the domain that I bought on Wix, not pay for it monthly, export it to something like uh, WordPress, take WordPress, and pay, and just make a website on WordPress with that said website domain? Because I technically own said domain. I'm just not paying for... Now, I'm not sure if this is the right word. Let's, let's look it up, okay? Let's look it up. I'm going to look up... Maybe I'm wrong completely, but I believe... Okay, let me just look it up so I don't look like a fool. So I don't look like a fool. Okay, let me look up what it means, okay? I'm going to look it up. Because I don't want to look like an idiot. Definition, no. What is parking a website? According to HubSpot blog, a park domain is any domain name that is not linked to any unique website or web service. 
Park domains may not be linked to any page, or they could serve as an alias for another primary domain. I was right. Add on domain, on the other hand, is meant for showing a completely separate website from other domains. Oh, okay. That's why I was kind of right. It's basically you buy a website. You buy a website. You don't exactly. You buy a website. You buy a website, right? Okay, anyway. Um, so you buy a website. And then... And then, because you don't claim it or whatever, it doesn't go anywhere, you own said website, but you don't actually go... It doesn't actually go anywhere. So, yeah. Par so, technically, I'm going to have to park that website because I... I paid for it for, like, in, like, I paid for it. I just don't want to have to, like, pay. I think it's for the, like, minimum, I think it's, like, $16 a month. I'm like, oh, my God. To my mother, I'm like, dude, if I was making money that I had just money to spend, I could, like, just pay for this. But I don't want to. I was telling my friend, right, who's into cybersecurity and, like, IT security and whatever. So he's doing in co uh, college. It's the whole, like, yeah, but... I said to him, like, I hate subscription services with a passion, that's why I use GIMP instead of, uh, instead of, oh, wait, Firefly, nope, instead of Photoshop, and, and, um, DaVinci Resolve inst free instead of, uh, Adobe Premiere. I'm like, no, stupid. So he goes, there's gotta be a way to, like, outright buy a domain, and I went, yeah, there's gotta be a way, Forbes had the article, so you probably gotta have to read, to figure out, like, there's gotta be a way to just buy outright a domain, and you can buy, apparently, according to Forbes, you can buy out a domain outright, like, just, you just own the domain, you have to host said domain yourself, I'm like, okay, fine, that's fine, I don't care, also, if I'm losing all the, like, security and support and all that stuff, I don't care, that's fine with me, I can, couldn't care less, I'm fine with that, why thing is just can I just have the domain to post to host on my own website, host the website myself on my own something like server or on my own computer or whatever? Like, I don't care. Yes, I know I'd have to figure out s stuff, but like, you know, I realize now that I have to spend money. There's nothing I can do. I have to spend money to make a website. Cause I asked once on their like website builder or website services or something, whatever web builder or whatever subreddit, and they were like. Yes, there's ways of doing this free. You can host it for free. You can do this, do that. But like, why? Why? At this point in time, why would you just do that? Just go and use like a. Some people were like, let's go and use like Wix or Squarespace or GoDaddy or Hostgator. Well, not Hostgator, but like you know stuff like that. And I'm like, yeah, well, sure. Why not? Right. GoDaddy is the number one place to find out if a website's uh, taken. I mean, taken. So look at mine. I looked at hers. I'm like, yep. That would make sense. They're both uh, taken. I think it was like 80 bucks to buy it off. No, because what happens is there's like a third party, like, per, like, I don't know how you call it. A third party person in between that mediator kind of thing, where it's like, you go through that person, and then that person contacts me. It's like, it's really weird. You go daddy, and like, it's a weird thing, but yeah. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so personally, I want to be able to do this, not for free, per se, because I have to buy the domain. I know that that's a thing. But I, but like, once I buy the domain, could I just design the domain myself? and make it myself, and just completely, 100%, just have it all run myself. Like, I don't want to pay anybody to do any of the rest of it. <sighs> sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, so, like, yeah, if you know how to do that, please tell me, because I'd love to just not have to pay for... Yeah, not have to pay for, uh... every month, please. It's probably not possible, but... Because even someone like Linus realizes... Yeah, well, Adobe Premiere is, like, this standard for most people, so we're going to have to use Adobe Premiere. I don't want to pay for it, but we have to. Because he doesn't think, um, what's called bad, but he just doesn't like it, you know? He already doesn't use it because it's not the standard, like, the Avengers all. Same way, like, GIMP, you can use GIMP, sure. It's just going to be hard and dumb and kind of stupid, where it's like, ugh, it's not the same thing as Photoshop. Same way, like, Squarespace. Yeah, you can design a website yourself, completely from scratch, from CSS... HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and I looked into that, and I have a JavaScript book on how to write JavaScript, and I looked into, like, courses on stuff like, uh, 
code camp, free code camp or whatever. And I'm like, Ugh. my mother was like, go take a course on it. I'm like, does everybody want an app? No, everybody wants a. Oh, sorry, does everybody want a website? No, everybody wants an app, or both. They want a website that can be like used into an app. Like, I asked someone how much it would make, cost me to make an app, and they were just like, they gave me a price. I'm like, oh wow. But then again, you look at it and you learn, and you realize my dad and my mother is like, go take a course on this. It's great. I'm like, no. No, because I don't want to. I don't want to sit there for a billion years being the programmer for some stupid person that I don't like. You know? Or for people. It's like, ugh. Because my mother, okay, at her work, well, this was like in 2020, so, 2020, so it's like, what, like four years ago. And they were creating like a, a whole thing. Like they were making a website. Not a website. They were making a, uh, not a website. A, uh, not a website. A application for like, or a web thing for like, emails and like um having all this stuff and it was like uh, emails and like um setups for like different activities and events and such right and they would ask this the person in charge the, the programmer the coder the programmer right okay can you just do this can you just can you do this and the person would just come back with like no or whatever or ah, like this, this is mad and i'm like well yeah the only reason you're mad the only reason you're mad is because they hate people like you who just assume everything can be done. Well, can't you just do it? Well, why not? Because you are you don't know how this works. You don't understand that that's actually not possible. Or not in the form you want it. Or not for cheap. Or, you know what I mean? It's just like, it's not possible the way you want it. Like, oh, really? But that's like every industry. Everybody who's not involved in said industry just assumes, assumes, assumes. Ah, it depends on the... Depending on the industry, obviously, because sometimes it's easier to figure out, like, yeah, no, you can't have that done, because, like, it's a very straightforward thing, and most people would understand, but, like, or most people know, but, like, some, you know, for a lot of, for a lot of industries, it's, well, can't you just do it? Well, oh, well, here you go, why, why couldn't you just do this, or why can't you do that? It's like, because it doesn't exist, it's not a thing, or it's not easy to do, or it's expensive, or it's time-consuming, or whatever, whatever the excuse, not the excuse, but whatever the reason is, right, the reason, you know, and I'm just like, well, yeah, and that's one of them, programming is one of the ones that everyone thinks, well, can't you just do this, well, make me this, do it this way, I'll just do this, it's like, well, yeah, but, like, that's stupid, or it's hard, or it's not possible at all, or I don't know the code language, I don't know the language to, 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 Yeah, the language to make said thing. I never learned whatever Python. I learned CS plus plus. I never learned JavaScript. I learned HTML. I never learned Ruby. I learned. I remember once looking up how like the I think it was the Wikipedia article or it was some other website, and it was just how many like wh like coding languages. And I looked them up and I went, there are as many coding languages, if not more, than there are like re like spoken languages. That's insane. Okay, okay, here's a good thing I'll leave you with, right? Or I'll, I'll say. Would you rather know every lang like spoken language or every coding language? I think you should learn every spoken language, because that's way more useful for most people. Yeah, definitely. But coding languages are useful, too. You could learn, you could make a translator, and then just translate every other language. You know? Yeah, fair enough. But I think just learn every spoken language, because, like... Whether it's, you know, like here in Quebec, French, which is very useful, which I don't know very well, which is sad, but okay. Or Italian, or German, or, 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 or Spanish, or German, or, or Portuguese, or Lebanese, or Middle East, uh, no, what's it called? Arabic, or this or that, or this or that. And, uh, you know, just pick a language. Hebrew, uh, Aramaic, it doesn't matter. Like, it would be great. You'd, you'd, you'd learn, and, and I would say you'd learn all the languages that just have ever existed, I would think. Every spoken language that was ever existed. That would be great, because you would figure out, like, a whole, like, wow. Because that'd be great. Like, for me, at least, it'd be great. Because, like, I'm like, woo, that's crazy. So, yeah, I think, in my opinion, I think that'd be much, mo much more useful. I think so. Just because you could get around better and you could do things. You wouldn't have to, you know, you could become, like, the president of some country and then just never have to use those stupid translators. Yeah. Or go to, like, a show and, like, some random part of the country and just, like, never have to worry about it. Yeah. So, yeah. In my opinion. Yeah, so.
That's what I think about websites. I'm like, ah, uh, let me just have a website. I just want to buy a damn domain and then use it myself. Like, have it myself. Own it. Apparently, though, outright owning it is for certain people, too. I'm like, no, or at least from what I was reading I was on Forbes, I was like, wait a sec. Don't tell me that I have to just, like, be a government or a certain business that can... And don't tell me I'm going to have to pay, like, a billion dollars to just own said website. Because there are domains that do that, too, where it's, like, um, um, like location domains. Like, so the country domains are very much... Nope. You can't have this website... Or, or, this country owns every domain under .ca. You have to then buy it from someone in... Something like that, I remember. You want a good uh, thing on that? Look up the, uh, or watch the episode of Short Circuit. No, sorry, episode of the Waveform Podcast. Where it's talking about, like, the seven keys to the internet or something. And it's like, it explains domains. It doesn't explain the internet. It explains domains, starting with the ARPANET, and then going on to, like... Well, this guy had to have like a repository of, like a like a like a spreadsheet of hey, here's what domains exist. Can I buy a domain? Yeah, here you go. And then he would host it, and he would have it. And ugh, it was a lot of work back in the day. And then it was like, and then it finally got to this whole like, well, now it exists in this thing. And then there's like, they went to like the ceremony. Oh, I'm not gonna for seven keys that like you need to have these. Oh, it's great. Like these parts have to come together, or else the internet doesn't exist. And yeah, yeah, yeah it's great stuff. In my opinion, it's great stuff. And so for me, that was a cool episode. But like. Go watch that or listen to that episode or watch it. It's good. Because, like, that's the thing. There's, like, seven keys where seven parts of, the, like, countries, they all come together. Parts, people from different countries come together and they, like, meet and they're like, hey, he, who, and you guys put them together and, ah, oh, it's cool. Like, without them, you know, put these, like, parts together, keys together and unlock this and, ah, oh, it's good stuff. Cool stuff. In my opinion, it's a very cool episode because, like, I kind of knew what the internet was. I kind of knew that, like, the internet started as, like, a, well, A, it started as, the the first internet was just basically for the government and the army, military, to, like, and maybe, like, colleges to, like, uh, share information. That's it. That's all it was. Then the first internet that we know of, like, as, like, person-to-person, peer-to-peer, like, I can go on the, a thing and talk to another person, was um things like BBSs, like, bulletin board systems, and, like, where you would just kind of, like, talk, and you could share files, and you could download files, you could upload files, you could talk stuff, you could you know, w- do things. <laughs> Play games, whatever. Text-based magic games. And then, the first internet we know of was like the, I think the l- mid-90s? Maybe late 90s? No, mid-90s. It's gotta be in the 90s. And it was all the stuff we can think of, like, very early. It's, it's what you think of when you think of early internet. Like, you know, first Google was in 1996, and like, Ask Jeeves, and like, Yahoo, and like, that kind of stuff. You know? All that kind of stuff. The Hotmail, that kind of stuff. You know? So, yeah. Definitely, like, you know, so, yeah. So, I kind of knew a little bit about it, but then I looked up, oh, I didn't know, like, there are seven keys, and you had to, like, come together to, like, make sure the internet works properly, and a whole bunch of, like, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of uh, interesting to look up the internet. Because the internet's an interesting, fascinating place where it's just a bunch... Because, like servers, the internet's just a bunch of, like, HTML code that that you can, like... The thing that blew my mind, okay, when I learned when I started learning coding, right, the thing that blew my mind was, I can just inspect any website on the internet. Yeah, I can copy and paste. I can change. I can do this and do that. Yeah. You need you need to like have the permission to publish said code, but yeah, you can definitely just change stuff, uh, copy all the code. Somebody said, or I was I was I was la 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 la. I was reading like a coding book for dummies, and they were like, go to and they picked a website, copy and paste it, and put it into this this coding language. We were lo- using Visual Basic, or the the book was using Visual Basic. And from what I've heard too, for a lot of these coding languages, it's very much like an instrument or a regular language. If you know this language, you can play, you can you can you can do this, you can you can use this language. If you know this language, you can you can, you know, you know use this language, or if you know this instrument, or if you know the basics of, like, this is how music works, this is the fundamental, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Theory, music theory, you'll be able to get, you'll be able to play this instrument, or any instrument, you know? Just figure out how the syntax works, and then, boom, you can figure pretty much, uh, um, use any language, any coding language. So I'm like, really? 
change. Almost any split, yeah. Which is why, but there are some where it's like, just learn Python, C++, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Those are like the four that everyone, four or five that that people recommend to me because they're like, you can make a website and you can make literally any kind of application with those, any kind of thing, a game, an application, a website, uh, uh, anything. I'm like, really? Pretty much, yeah. There's a few things here and there that you might need to add with uh, different coding languages, but yeah. <laughs> stuck up my head. Song stuck in my head, sorry. Um, yeah, so. I'm just, you know, so, yeah. I probably need to learn that stuff. Apparently, although, also, my friend's also, my other friend who's also in c coding, told me. Uh, see, uh, HTML is the easiest language to learn. Like, no way. Yes, because I'm like, I don't want to write a damn website. I just don't. And he's like, HTML, easiest language ever. I went, no, it's not. He went, yes, it is. Now, I don't know if that's true, but yeah. I, you know, you know, I wouldn't be surprised. I hear that making a website is, like, the easiest thing ever. Because, like, I've heard it is. I don't know if it is. I heard it's the easiest part of coding. Easiest thing to code. So, yeah, I mean, that's what I've been uh, thinking about. Well, tell me right now. When was the last time you went on a website that wasn't social media, Google, or your emails? Because I could not tell you. And wasn't redirected from, like, something else, like a YouTube video where you went to ltcdstore.com or went to my my Etsy store or whatever, right? So, yeah, I th think that's going to be it for now, guys. Um, if you want to get in touch with me, there's the... Uh, email tacoimposters at gmail dot com. That's tacoimposters at gmail dot com. There's the uh, discords, two discords. There's the uh, discords. There's and then if you want to uh, support me, there's um, taco. Nope. 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 That's not right. There's oh gosh, Patreon. Patreon.com slash wingwong. That's patreon.com slash wingwong. Both W's are capital. Right? Um, what else? Then there's the, uh, if you want to get my music, stream it or buy it. And, um, then there's the, uh, uh, Etsy store. So, I think it's going to be it for now, guys. So, Adios, mi amigos. Goodbye and God bless.